court affirmed a woman's right to an abortion with the landmark Roe v. Wade decision. With the most momentum yet in their fight to overturn Roe v. Wade. More help is on the way to Ukraine in the form of weapons. Russia's foreign minister warned the U.S. that providing Ukraine with these type of weapons is an unacceptable escalation. The baby formula shortage has gotten worse. The record when it comes to gas prices. It hit an all-time high today, 4 67 a gallon. There have been claims that the cost of the cheapest food on the market is rising proportionally faster than other things, making it even tougher for those really struggling. Monkeypox is related to the smallpox virus and can display similar but milder symptoms. The rent increased anywhere from five to seven hundred dollars. They rent up on these apartments. Most of them are fucking empty. Empty, 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 empty. Because people ain't paying this kind of money. Where at least 10 people have been killed at a grocery store. Two students killed, 13 people sent to the hospital being treated in the emergency room. Ain't we going crazy in this world, y'all? Hey, what's up? What's that deal, homies? And hey, look, homies, I'm quite sure we all are aware of what's going on in the world right now. From inflations, the shootings, the pandemic, and all other crazy ass shit that's going on in society. Shit, if life was a person, it'd make you want to be like, You get your ass on out of this house, boy! Y'all ain't got some shit going! Question! Are y'all sick and tired of all the bullshit that's going on in the world right now? To the degree that you just want to live your life just like this? <laughs> Yeah, homies, it's gonna be one of them videos today. Well, if you feel that way, then you already know. We got some much to talk about, so sit your ass right there, stay tuned. What's that deal, homies? I'm your boy, Agent AKAD, coming at you straight from the west side. What up, though? Welcome to June, homies. That's right, homies. We are officially halfway through 2022. And I swear to you, homies, time is moving by within the blink of an eye. I mean, for real, wasn't it just January yesterday? Shit, I guess they're right what they say, homies. Time don't wait on nobody. So that being said, homies, I sure hope time ain't passing y'all by. If y'all got something that y'all really want to do, don't waste no more time. Get up and go do it. Because please believe me, homies, ain't nobody out there going to achieve your goals but you. So tighten up. For real. And for all you new homies out there that's new to this channel, then you already know. You can't just stop out and hit that subscribe button for your boy one time. Yes, homies, it's actually a gloomy ass day here in the deep. I see rain clouds coming, I think I felt a drop or two out here. So before I pour down on my ass, I'ma stop all the talking so we can hurry and get down to the shoot. Now, homies, I have no idea what I'm gonna title this video. I really don't know what the hell I'ma say in this video. I'm just freestyling, but I won't be me if I wanna get this shit off my chest. So here we go. I'm pretty sure we all are aware of what's going on in the world right now. I mean, for real, all the crazy shit that's going on in the world right now. The war, the pandemic, the A-B situation. Dealing with all that shit, and on top of that, gotta deal with the craziness in your damn life. And that's all you hear every day, homies. Nothing but bad news. And frankly, it's to a point where your ass really don't wanna hear it at all. Because constantly hearing that shit over and over every day, 24-7, it's almost like they want you to live in fear. Cause look at all what's going on. One bad thing after another. And all for what? Just to keep you distracted and keep you working. But don't get me wrong at all, homies. I'm not saying don't be concerned about your surroundings, but at the same time, don't live in fear. Because please believe me, homies, don't nothing carry you to the graveyard faster than fear. Cause sooner or later, you will let that shit drive you to the point of insanity where you soon will lose your will to live. I mean, look what happened in 2020. It made people so damn depressed, they were so damn scared to be around each other. That made people depressed, isolated, and just didn't want to be around each other. And what way is that to live? And now I'm seeing this shit happen again. And now I escalated from that to getting monkeypox. And if it's not monkeypox, you gotta worry about getting shot one way or another. And I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about when I say that. At one time, I used to think, what the hell is wrong with people? But now, I'm like, what the hell ain't wrong with it? I mean, for real, just look at us. We can't even have a disagreement with one another without getting into our feelings. And dealing with that shit and dealing with the realm of everything going around you can have a toll on your mental health. But life is gonna be hard regardless, homies. You just gotta find a way to keep it moving. But the main reason I'm making this video, homies, is because of your mental health. I'm saying the more and more people live in fear, the more it takes out of their mind and their mental health, which prevents people to think straight and all of a sudden do harm to yourself or somebody else out there. So you gotta do all you can, whatever you can, to take care of yourself and take care of other people. Do not live in fear. But unfortunately, homies, that's way easier said than done. Just like one of my goddamn homies. Cause like I said before, homies, you don't have one friend who lives in fear so damn much, instead of facing the world, he'd rather run from it? That's his ass. Wanna see them talk about homies? Let's just take a look. Shit, where the hell is he? Hey, bro, bro, where you at, man? Who that? Who that? Bro, what the hell you doing over here, man? Don't you know what's crazy out there? Can't nothing be more crazy than how your ass is acting right now, man. Bro, what the hell be going on with you, man? I ain't seen your ass in a while. Bro, of course you have it, man. Don't you know what's going on out there? I mean the shots, shootings, the pandemic, all this crazy shit. 
shit going on in the world right now, man. And I don't know about you, bruh. I'm gonna stay back here locked in my closet. Bruh, you can't be serious. That's a damn pandemic. Bruh, just calm your ass down. Come over here and have a seat. Man, I don't know, bruh. What if I bust my ass trying to sit down over there? Bruh, stop being so damn scared and come over here and sit your ass down. Man, all right. <sighs> bruh. I know life got your ass scared right now, but you can't go around living your life in fear, man. Life is scary, but when hasn't it been, bro? But guess what? Life can also be beautiful, too. Stop getting into what these people on TV telling you and start going out there and living your life. I don't know, bro. What if I go out there, live my life, and all of a sudden something crazy just happens? Get the hell out of me! My bad, bro, for going off on you like that. Hey, bro, you good? You know what, bro? I think I'm okay. Matter of fact, bro, I'm better than okay, man. Just fine. Well, welcome back, bro. That's what I like to see. Bro, I don't know what the hell came over me, man. But you know what, bro? No matter what happens, I promise to never, ever be that way. Oh, shit, did you hear that, bro? Hey, man, I'm still on, bro. I fucking knew it, man. Hey, bro. Homies, whatever you do, please don't ever be like that. So, homies, at the end of the day, whatever happens today or tomorrow, what really can you do? Only thing you really can do, homies, is live your life the best way that you can. Because please believe, homies, there are a small group of people at the top that's working day and night to keep you depressed, oppressed, and in fear. And in fact, they thrive off the shit. Don't let that influence you, homies. Keep living, and most importantly, keep the faith, homies. Because all in all, homies, at the end of the day, it's okay to be scared. Just don't live in fear. Remember that.